purpose for this video is basically, uh, like say, basically a thorough review of, uh, of say, some of say one service that's very become very popular with cord cutters, and they call it Pluto TV. This is like basically an honest review here, and also, uh, also my also my opinions on it, like my experiences with it. Basically, like uh, a little bit about the experiences with Blue TV. Like one, I can remember, like say last year, back in 2018, I discovered it by uh, accident. Yeah, I discovered it, and uh, it ended up being a streaming service that was free, and it was advertising supported. And the fun part about it was. Uh, now you can now you able to stream it on your computer as well as those Roku boxes. You was also able to stream it, say, on your tablets, your tablet devices, and shit like that. Even uh, your smartphones, iPads, iPod, whatever, iPhones. Yes, you could do that. And basically, it provided a whole lot. Like, say, one, it provided the access. To, say, when I first discovered it, it was able to watch movies, reruns of TV shows. Well, not all, not various TV shows, like some TV shows, whatever. Yeah, like various, like, say, some various uh, older TV shows. Content you can also was able to get on, say, Tubi, which is like basically like what Hulu used to be. When it first started, before he started uh, charge, before he started uh, adding subscription fees and all that, before he turned into a subscription only operation. But also, I'd say various uh, types of fees you can get anywhere, like say. Channels dedicated to say cats. Channels dedicated to say the fell army. And a major turn and say you know very solid types of channel. And a very and a very notable turning point was that like, happened earlier this year when Viacom ended up out, ended up buying it out. And basically, like what happened with Pluto TV after Viacom got involved, there was like a lot of notable changes. Like one, they added uh, content. They actually expanded the number of con the amount of content. Expanded the amount of content they had. I had a bunch of channels. Oh yeah, and like what, what Pluto TV was when I first discovered it, it was like access to news, some news sources from o overseas, like from say. United Kingdom, France, uh, even Russia. Yeah, Russia today even RT as it goes, if that counts. But even two thousand, even two thousand eighteen, Pluto added more channels, like some channels that uh, are viewable in say various markets over the air. But not all markets, but a number of markets in this country over the air. And the way television operates in my country, like over the air television, basically it's like called market oriented. They don't use regions, they just call them markets. Referred to as TV markets and all that. And to say these channels like Buzzer, which is basically reruns of game old game shows like shit that the game show network used to share but Buzz is like an over the air version and I don't want to say stadium which is I think a network run by uh, I think I think Sinclair Broadcast Group runs that one but I know for sure 
one of its stations in, in where I live carries it over the air. But getting back to like say what happened when Viacom uh, bought it out. Viacom actually just say started aggressively adding content, like more channels. One, channels that say basically created some versions of their own channels. They created their own uh, versions of say MTV, Comedy Central, Spike. I was right to the Spike name. CMT. Say a bunch of channels, whatever. That uh, featured content from, uh, from say, the library of Viacom's uh, various cable channels. I decided to add that to uh, make these feeds exclusive to Pluto TV, and there was some, some specific Pluto TV, so, like MTV Guy Code, Spike Outdoors. Basically, it made, it made an improvement in content. And since then, they added more chant, more content. It seemed like they've, they seemed like they just got more aggressive in adding content. Like channels dedicated to say, some of it's even say, even uh, carrying old Nickelodeon shows and shit. Yeah, a special Nickelodeon feed for uh, Pl exclusively for Pl TV. And these feeds are not the same ones they feed to the cable systems. But it, but it's a lot more content. Even recently, they added a uh, channel. They had one that was like called Cats Twenty Four Seven. They have that. They said another ver one, a version for dogs. You know, dogs Twenty Four Seven. Cause there's probably a lot of dog lovers out there too watching TV that watch TV. <coughs> I probably think about cutting the fucking cord. Yeah, I figured to be it was like basically. I'm sorry, I mentioned that. It's basically what Hill used to be when it first started. Then major corporations got involved. Then fucking Disney. Oh, they get involved, and guess what happens? Hill starts charging people. So they start charging people subscriptions and shit. Eventually, they get rid of free model and added subscriptions along with say advertising. I don't know if you to say added. Though if you actually, though if you pay extra, pay, pay more money a month, you probably get that shit commercial fucking free. Yeah, but I guess in the future, Disney will probably just uh, use that for, uh, they'll probably just end up using, they'll just end up using their content that's not, that's probably a little bit too much for, that's a little bit, uh, not pro, not, that's, that's not a suitable fit for its upcoming Disney Plus service. And getting back to, like, say, Pluto TV. And they added, uh, say, content from CBS News, like CBSN, which is, like, a... Basically a news operate news channel that CBS News runs. They also offered content from, say, NBC News. Even one from CNN, I don't know why. But, say, Viacom had so many channels, and they, added, and they just kept adding more. Channels dedicated to some other shows. Basically, Viacom had expanded the amount of channels they have available. And they're inching closer and closer to 200 channels. But it's over 190 channels so far. If the Wikipedia article says they might have over 200 channels, I guess they're accidentally counting all the feeds that you can get from the. Uh, when you, when you say check Pluto TV either on its website or on or on your, on your tab, whatever, they say have a whole bunch of channels on the top, basically a certain number of channels. Basically to say, how do I do that? But tell how many specific channels they have. A lot of work anyway. And then say what Pluto TV is going to offer in the future. I'm thinking if, if anybody from Viacom's watching this, maybe they should, uh, maybe they should uh, simply consider putting a channel, maybe they should simply add a channel that's dedicated to say, like say some old shit, like say, 
Mason Dodd dedicated channel to say the comic strip character Garfield, whatever. Like say dedicated one to say the various TV show, like various uh, content. I guess. Sure, they'll probably. Be, I'm sure they'll probably add a new version to Nickelodeon. <laughs> the sense of vibe come practically has that. And the rights of that, uh, since they pretty much uh, <laughs> got their hands on that. Even that'd be real nice if, say, even that'd be real funny if Pluto TV did have a channel dedicated to, say, <laughs> Garfield and Friends reruns. And I'm talking about the I'm talking about the series that uh, CBS had actually aired for so many years <laughs> back in the day. When they had Saturday morning uh, cartoons. <laughs> That'd be interesting to that, but, but even then, even then, Pluto TV will probably start adding content from CBS in the future. Maybe by this time next year, they probably will. Since not since not Viacom and CBS are gonna remerge. <laughs> even then that'd be fun. Even then that'd be interesting. Even then, <sighs> even my even then, like getting right to the point. Flow TV is absolutely good service that uh, cord cutters should watch. Offers quality con offers various quality content. It's free. And they'll probably have more channels, uh, for sure. I figure come next month, come in September, they'll be probably adding a, 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 a version of VH1. I'll be fed directly to Pluto TV. I'll be doing that next. I see it. It's pretty much like say, if you want to see, see what happens. Also, should should anybody even get? Should anybody get, have Pluto TV? Should I have access to it? Yes, they should. They should have if they have a Roku box or device. They should add. It, that's one channel. It's one thing they should add right there. That's pretty much like, say, a little overview and review and everything, whatever. 